quiet. the father of lies. Everything he's ever told you before this morning, he's lied. But you shall have peace. You shall have joy. You shall enjoy the fruit of your labor. And mother, the devil is a liar. Your sons and your daughters shall be saved, set free, and delivered. Because when he shook your belly, the Bible said that the fruit of your womb is blessed. Oh, you need to speak it out of your mouth right now. Say it now. Because the Lord has shaken me again. I'm alive in my spirit. I'm alive in my mind. I'm alive in the things of God. The word of God is coming alive in me right now. I'm alive. I shall not die, but live to declare the glory of God. For this is the day that the Lord has made. I will I God bless all of you for jumping in. God bless all of you for jumping in. God bless you. This is Prophetess Dr. Yvette Young. This is day 20 in the 21 days of fasting and prayer. I am so excited for those of you who started with us and who are at day 20 along with us. You know, it's not how you start. Let me say this to you today. It's not how you start a thing. It's how you finish a thing. And you know, people have jumped in and said they were going to fast and you know they threw in the towel. 
because they don't understand that fasting is warfare. When, when you set your mind to begin to fast, Satan is like, oh no, he gets all his boys to come and to break the, the practice and the discipline of fasting. So people jumped in and said they were going to fast and they didn't throw in the towel. But let me tell you something. Listen, folks. Let me let me just be who I am. Okay? Let me just be who I am. Listen, the kind of battles that you all are facing today. It doesn't matter who got anything to say anything about it. The Bible says that we do not wrestle with flesh and blood, but we wrestle with principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places, rulers of the darkness of the world. Listen, stay out of folk in boxes if you cannot push away the plate listen you are asking a million people to pray for you but you can't pray for your own self and your own generation something is seriously wrong and I'm coming out here I'm ready I asked the Holy Ghost to take for full control today I'm talking about full control because listen people of God we are in a time today I don't know if you know about it but we are in an era today we are in a dis sensation today. I don't know what you are allowing in your spirit in your ear gate today, but this is not a time where Satan is playing with the church. I, I'm just, I'm just going to be, I'm just, I'm coming out, I'm coming out, I'm coming out with everything today. Listen, we are on day 20 and there have been people who started. Now these people are dealing with all kinds of hell, walls of resistance. I'm talking about boulders in the realms of the spirit. Listen, people of God, if we do not practice what the bride should practice, we are going to come up with every kind of excuse why God is not answering. We're going to come up with every kind of philosophical idea why God is not coming through for us. But I came to tell somebody who have good ears to hear today that God is not withholding anything from those who walk upright before him. Can I tell you something today, people of God, that God who sits upon his throne today, he is not withholding anything from those that walk upright before him, thro his throne. There are principalities that are fighting against your life that have been fighting against your life for many, many, many generations. They stopped your mama. They stopped your father. They stopped your grandmother. They stopped and hindered your grandfather and your great great and your great great great. Oh yeah, they've been in your generational line for many many years. And people of God, people of God, you are trying to cut down that old rugged tree that rusted roots in your life with a butter knife. We have to get together, people of God, because whatever we are doing today, uh, listen, if it was so effective then the world would not be doing and even the governmental systems would not be signing in the laws that they are signing in because the church has been doing church and not being the church we are responsible to arrest the powers of darkness we are responsible as ambassadors in the earth realm to cooperate with God to connect with God and I just came in here for a few serious folk today because we're going to continue Continue to talk without weight if we continue to do church as usual. But I decided that I'm not going to go according to the status quo. The Holy Ghost is burning on the inside of my spirit. Oh yeah, to release a trumpet call today for those of you who are serious about breaking through, who are serious about working in and walking in your destiny and achieving what God has said you to achieve. Listen, some of you are hustling real hard, but you ain't getting nowhere with that hustle oh yeah I know in the spirit what I see you ain't getting nowhere with that hustle oh yeah 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 the devil has hindered your progress the devil has hindered your mobility oh yeah 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 come on yeah you are my God almighty Satan has released his powers and in fact they don't even have to fight they just sitting they just sitting upon what God said is yours they're not even fighting you. They're just sitting. Uh, uh, my God. Until the spiritual world and the spiritual realms become clear to us. 
until we understand that we are spirit, we live in an encasement of a physical fleshly body and we possess a soul which is our mind, our will and our emotions until we understand the operations of how we were supposed to operate in the kingdom of God, we are going to continue to miss it. We are going to continue to fall beneath what the promises have been released over our lives. And you want to continue to sit back and talk about Jesus paid it all. And guess what? Let me tell you something. It really don't mean Jesus nothing as you are saying to everybody that Jesus paid it all. Do you know what Jesus really wants for you? Do you know that Jesus Christ really wants you to walk in what he died to give you? Come on. Instead of shouting about it. Come on. I know I don't have no help up in here. It's all right. I came with my help. My help stays with me. Hallelujah. I said that Jesus Christ wants you not to shout about what he's done. He wants you to walk in what he has done for you. He wants you to lay hold to the promises huh, in your condition. Oh, come on, somebody. So those of you who have started with us and you today have reached day 20, I commend you. The Lord commends you. You are disciplined in your flesh. Some of you trying to deal with powers and the powers are laughing at you because you know what? They did that to me too. They did that to me too when I couldn't get my flesh under subjection. Oh, come on. Somebody, can I just be real with you? You know, the demons will laugh at you when they figure out that you can't get your food together. You can't put down that pork chop and that gravy and mashed potatoes. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, that macaroni and cheese and meatballs and you know, the stuff that gives us diabetes, the stuff that gives us, come on, cancer, the stuff, come on, my God, the stuff that causes our kidneys to shut down. We cannot supersede the powers of darkness without being able to conquer the flesh. I know it's a little bit tight. I know it's a little bit tight. That's why folk don't jump in here because they know I'm going somewhere. Somewhere the flesh don't like. Listen, our flesh is an enemy to us. Our flesh is a real enemy to us. Do you know that your flesh is your number one enemy? Do you know that your flesh will keep you from entering into the promises of God? Do you know that your flesh gives the enemy the power over your life yeah uh-huh you know why because if we cannot conquer and crucify the flesh how are we gonna cast out devils how are we gonna deal with the demonic powers that's been oh my god on the face of the earth since before you were born for ancient years we're talking about ancient gates we're talking about ancient spirits we're talking about satan that came from glory he understands how glory operates he understands the rules of engagement all he got to do is get you to eat that apple. Oh, come on, somebody. He'll get you to miss out on the glory of God. He'll get you to miss out on what God has planned for you. That's why he kicked out my God. Adam and Eve was kicked out of the garden because of a piece of fruit. Adam and Eve was kicked out of the promises because of something they put in their mouths. And I don't know about any of you, uh, even in YouTube land. I don't know. I don't know. But I've made up in my mind that uh, you can't get me to go through the gimmicks and the games. Uh, uh, just give me flat-footed reality and let me know the raw truth of what it takes takes to really rise uh, and that's what I came in here to tell you today uh, oh it's gonna take this and then some uh, it's gonna take you pushing away your plate even more oh come on come on just because they didn't teach us how to sacrifice uh, it doesn't mean that it's not the order of the day uh, oh yeah 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 we are powerless uh, because we sacrifice we sacrifice less uh, we are powerless because we sacrifice less uh, the more that you sacrifice uh, the more power you have, the more that you crucify the flesh, the more you will live in the spirit, the more you will connect to Jesus Christ and his spirit. Oh, come on. The more, come on, the more that we connect in the realms of the spirit. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, God, let the scales fall off of the people's eyes today because we have somewhere to go. We have something to achieve. We have to move and we need progress. We need progression. 
listen we don't just need talk but we need reality today do you know today that people are saying well I'll just keep my demons do you know that today people are saying I'll just deal with the chains I'll just carry the chains do you know that people are saying it you know uh, I, well you know I've been dealing with these chains. I've been in in this prison for so long. I might as well just get comfortable right here. But that is not the plan of God for none of us. That is not the plan of God for any one of us. When he has shed his blood. Come on. The blood sacrifice and the blood covenant of the spotless lamb. Provided a way for you to come out of every prison. Every entrapment. All of the antagonization of the enemy the victimization he is victimizing today the people of God simply because we are not spiritual we are more carnal we are more fleshly and if only we can come on rip the veil tear the veil from the flesh get into the spiritual realm because the carnal mind will never be able to perceive the things of the spirit of God So when we talk spiritual, people can't perceive spirituality and they don't have the sustainability in their spirit to carry the weight of revelation because they are carnal and the carnal mind can't catch up with the spiritual mind. Can I talk to somebody today? I know, you know, I try to be first grade with folk because, you know, they don't really understand the depth of the revelation of God. But what I want to say to somebody today that you can't get into the depth without dying to your flesh. Your carnal mind cannot understand the deepness of the realms of the spirit of God. Uh, oh, come on, oh, some, come on, somebody. I know I got somebody in here today who is spiritual. Oh, come on, come on. I'm praying for somebody's eyes to open up so that you can see the battles that are raging around your life. Uh, hallelujah. And that God will begin to give you weapons, tools, understanding, equipping, training, so that you will be able to mount up on wings as the eagles do, uh, so that you can walk in discernment and revelation for the end times and so today I come in here just for a few real folk who understand that they don't have time to play games come on while Satan is busting up against your house witches is fighting warlocks are fighting come on come on come on the powers of darkness are sending curses and spells and hexes against you and hindering your progress in the realms of the spirit but today I know I have some sanctified folks that are serious about paralyzing the works of darkness uh, the spirits that came to demote you uh, that you are going to rise up and demote them uh, in the name of Jesus Christ today I pray that every one of you will enter into uh, come on moments and movements of breakthrough and blessing that your eyes have never seen before from this particular fast uh, even those that jumped in late hallelujah I pray that you will reap the benefit of what everyone else has done from day one glory to God see that's the mystery of God you remember in the scripture come on you know folk you know they they, you know they did things later and God still blessed them those who came in at a later date because hallelujah they got in on what God was doing the outpouring is here the portals are open today the portals will continue to be open hallelujah and so once we begin to understand spiritual realms and how amen to really defeat our adversary I mean come on you got a real personal adversary come on your your situation is not, not my situation come on your brother's situation is not your sister situation come on you you, you got to understand somebody in church your neighbor in church they have an issue they got a mountain they have a this kind it may not be your this kind of issue but nevertheless they have a this kind and and so today what we try to do uh, is mask the fact that we have issues going on because we want to put on a mask and God said I want the mask ripped off uh, because I'm trying to get something done in the lives of my people I'm trying to get to the core to the root of what they are addressing what they are dealing with and God wants somebody to get a real tear off the mask come on you've been acting like you got it all together you ain't bought you a suit and a tie 
And you know that the foundation of your life is fighting against your finances. You know that the foundation of your life is fighting against your marriage. You've been acting like you got it all together, but God did not call us to act like anything. He told us, come on, we when we come into the spiritual hospital, that's right, when we come into the spiritual hospital, when we come into the spiritual boot camp, we come for a reason, we come for a purpose. And this is what the body of Christ must understand, that we don't come in there to do program. If you want to do program, you do that after the people have been trained. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on. It's a kingdom. It's a kingdom. It's a kingdom. That's right. It's a kingdom. It's a kingdom. That's what it is. And so we're going to come in here and teach on how to be fitted in your kingdom establishment so that God can settle you in what he has designed your life to be. But for those of you who have fasted and prayed, listen, one more day, one more day, one more day. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We are going forth. We will cross over. We will walk in the promises of God. We will see mountains completely removed and destroyed from the very root system of your foundation we will see the hand of God move we will see God arise and we will see his enemies scattered we will see the power of the blood of Jesus bring confusion in the camp of the wicked we will see the destruction of the growths in your life that are evil come on we will see that infirmities will disappear my God We will see that God will begin to move for us. We will see the power of God like no other dispensation. Um, Hallelujah. In the earth realm, uh, even from the beginning of time, uh, God says it is until the restitution of all things. Uh, I said that restitution is coming for you. Uh, Recovery is coming for you. Uh, You shall repossess. Uh, You shall recover all. I'm telling you, people of God, uh, this is a time where God is moving supernaturally for those who will prepare themselves uh, for those who have set themselves aside uh, God will begin to see my God uh, in the earth realm the immediacy of God uh, oh come on come on come on come on the immediacy of God somebody type that in the immediacy some things are getting ready to open up gates are opening up right now doors of heaven are opening up windows of heaven are opening up divine connections are opening up come on trees are getting ready to bear fruit in your life The harvest is getting ready to come forth in your life. People of God, don't think it's strange. All of the warfare that you've been dealing with, don't think it's strange. The principalities that's been breathing down your neck, don't think it's strange. Hallelujah. The warfare that has been on every side. God was testing you in the wilderness. God was testing your heart. God was trying your reins to see if you would serve him when you didn't have a dime. God was testing your reins to see if you will serve him oh come on somebody when you felt neglected and rejected by God he wanted to see if you were throwing the towel but because you stood strong God is getting ready to raise you up on a mountain top to shine forth the glory of God in the earth realm and your generation will know that your God is real hallelujah they that know their God will act strong and do mighty 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 exploits because he went to his father you will do the greater works in the earth realm and the power of heaven will back you up in the angelic realm is moving on your behalf right about now the angelic realm right now is dropping treasures at the front door it's dropping come on giftings on the inside of your spirit my God. Ha. Rebe kote rebe kota. I'm talking about long standing issues that you were not able to deal with. This is what God is showing me right now. I'm talking about long standing roots. 
long standing roots come on some of you are in ministry some of you have a business it's not able to take off because the roots have been fighting the root workers have been fighting but God is sending angels I'm telling you angels have their swords drawn the javelins of the Lord come on God is releasing his winds the four winds are moving on your behalf today my God, God is swallowing. My God, my God, He's swallowing. He's swallowing the powers of Pharaoh today. You will see your Pharaoh die. You will see your Goliath die. Huh. You will cut the head of your Goliath. Hallelujah. No one in your generation was able to do it. No one in your generation was able to do it. But God is saying today that you will be the one to carry such an unusual and uncommon anointing. And some of you are going to walk in the glory realm of God. This is a higher dimension that the church really have not moved into just yet. Some are opening up, hallelujah, some are piercing the realms of glory. But there's a glory, there's a greater glory that's coming, there's a more, I'm talking about, there's a weight of glory that's coming. There's a revelation of glory that's going to reveal the person of God Almighty. I'm telling you, people of God, you got to get ready for what is getting ready to come in your life. When I say get ready, it's not just a cliche, get ready, get ready, get ready. No, 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 not that. I say position yourself, prepare for what God God is getting ready to do in your life and those of you who have stood with us we are praying and we are having testimonies coming every single day God is purging the very foundation of your life and he's going to use you to break a generation free I'm telling you there is an expediency coming there is an immediacy coming my God my God my God my God things are moving you better check your account you better check your post office you better check come on you're booking people are booking you now people are checking you out for good people are calling your name for good they're not hating on you they're not hating on you they are calling your name for good God is causing the veil to come off your life people will see the light people will see who you are people will know you by the spirit and they will come and run into the light of glory upon your life my God I know I'm prophesying to somebody today you haven't seen anything because you've been faithful with little God is going to make you ruler over much I see people going to the world I see people coming to the world platform I see the world opening up for you God is moving you into another status, another stratosphere. God is opening up things right now, right now, right now, right now. I'm telling you, it's being pierced in the realms of the spirit today. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed. Go ahead and speak your name out. Let the atmosphere hear your name. Come on. Rakanda lobo huraman shande. Rekoto tobo huramande. Rakanda tobo huramakanda. Rakashata lobo hura. God is bringing new resources in your life. Human resources. Financial resources. Come on. God is bringing resources. Physical influences. Physical material resources. Rakanda lobo huraman shande. Rekoto tobo handia. I see brand new platforms for you. God said because you didn't. My God. Listen to this. God said because you didn't compromise your message even though you had a hard word God is opening up my God my God what no man can be able to shut come on because when man raised you up man can snatch the rug from under you whenever he get good and ready but when God raised you up there is no demon in hell that will be able to stop you there will be no agent of darkness that will be able to pull you down they can light as many candles as they want they can send as many hexes and spells as they want but the curse is broken in the name of Jesus. You shall get to where God wants you. My God, I came in here to prophesy. Rakatolo Mohurama Shande. Rekorama Mama 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 Mande. 
Debe Kota Bamandi Akanda, Roko Nanana. I see God taking people from one dimension into another dimension, into another dimension, into another place of glory. Oh, come on, somebody, come on, come on, come on, come on. Reko Lama Shande, De 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 I see proclivities breaking off of you. Some of you have had long standing proclivities and bondages. God is going to address them. I'm telling you, one more day, people of God. One more day, one more day. 21 days of fasting. God bless every one of you who have joined us. I'm telling you, your testimonies will be uncommon. And the Lord told me to tell you, your testimonies will be permanent. The enemies that you have been seeing in the last season, you shall not see them another season because my God, my God, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about today. The enemies that have been fighting and raging war against you. I said the Pharaoh like unrepentant powers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember he was unrepentant. He didn't care. Moses continued to come back and say to him, let my people go. He said, I'm not letting your people go. Go tell your God, whoever your God is, I'm not releasing them. In fact, I'm going to increase the load. I'm going to increase the bondage. I'm going to increase the pain. And he began my God to beat them even more. He began to put more upon their backs. He began to cause them to carry even more load. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I see in the realms of the spirit right now that angelic armies are being released. My God, I see their wings. I see their swords. I see their similitude. I see the angels are coming to your rescue. I see them going to the waters. I see them coming to the heavenlies. I see them in the land dealing with the agents of darkness. I see them in the foundation. I see them in the land. I see them in the sand. I see them in the jungle. My God, my God, they are being released, hallelujah, to deal with every issue in your life today. God, 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 God. Your family will benefit from what God is doing in your life on this fast. Your family will benefit. Even folks that think you are plumb crazy. Even folk, come on, come on, come on. Come on, folk that don't understand your anointing. Because all they do is look at you from who you were back when. All they do is see you as their sister and their, you know, that, that's it. They only see you as a sibling. Come on. They don't know the power that God has downloaded on the inside of your spirit for them. They don't know that, come on, come on. God is raising you up for your generation. That's why you had to go through the pain Because you got to suffer for the anointing You have to suffer for the oil To be excreted through The olive that is coming out My God, the oil that is coming out of you You had to go through the wine press You had to be crushed And not only one time You had to be crushed more than once You had to be crushed over and over Over and over for the purity Of the wine My God Rabashanda, Rekora Mandia, Rekora Mandia, Shande de 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 la Mande, Romo non de Shetala Mande de Bocondaia, Rebandi da Mandan de Bocosa, Rebanandi da Nanandi da Bandon de Bocondana Mande de Bicusha. And the Lord has made. I just want to tell all of you today. My God, even those who will listen at a later time because they didn't catch it, it didn't catch it through the news feed. Those that will come to youtube.com forward slash Dr. Yvette Young, those that will come to www.godsroyalwomen.org, I want to tell you today. This is a day where God has shifted your season. It is not a movement of man where man is saying, shift, shift, shift. You remember that there, there was a moment in the body of Christ, everybody was saying, shift. Come on, a few years back, God said that was man-made. He said that was a counterfeit. My God, my God, my God. Did he say that? Holy Ghost said that was counterfeit. He said, the counterfeit always comes before the real. He said, but what I'm doing right now, this is something that is not man-made. Come on. It's not man-sponsored. Glory to God. It has nothing to do uh, with religiosity. But I'm bringing a shift in my people. I'm bringing a shift in the earth realm, whether folk realize it or not. Uh, it's all right. Some people will be caught by surprise. But what God is doing 
and the enemy is not going to be able. Come on, come on, come on. The ease drop on. Come on. Some things God is doing behind the scenes. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He don't reveal everything all at once. My God. What God is doing today is something that will shift the very trajectory of the lives of human beings, people in the kingdom of God, as well as the world. God is getting ready for the great harvest. That's right. And he's getting people ready to receive the harvest of the Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is the end time. This is the time where we, you will see things. You will know and hear about things, my God, that I have never seen. Ear have never heard. Neither had it into the heart of man the things that God had in store. <laughs> For those that love him, there is something very peculiar. I want you to finish up, finish up, finish up. This is day 20. One more day, people of God. Those of you, come on, finish up one more day. Just one more day. And I promise you, my God, if I be a prophetess of the Lord, huh, and I know I am, maybe you don't know yet, but I know I am, I prophesy that at the very end, my God, tomorrow at 12, hallelujah, a.m., when you enter in, my God, you will begin to see a dimension uh, open up over your life of the supernatural of God, uh, that God will begin to drop down dumbfounded blessings, uh, jaw-dropping blessings and breakthroughs, uh, God is changing everything around your life, uh, everything, the atmosphere. God is even changing you. Some of you are leaving the house where you are. Some of you are going into another environment. You're going into another state. Some of you are moving from another country. Some of you are getting travel documents. Uh, God is going to open up things to you. Television is open up for some of you. Come on, ministry is opening up for some of you. Come on, my God almighty, businesses are, my God. God is going to cause your life to prevail for him in the end time and watch this there is a wealth transfer God told me to say this right now you know I'm not a prosperity preacher you know what kind of preacher I am I'm a full preacher of the word of God prosperity is included and in what I am telling you today there's a prosperity that's getting ready to hit but it's only going to hit the just can I, can, can, I, can I say this right quick before I let you go it's only going to hit the just the just, my God, <laughs> hey, not those who are walking in unrighteousness. Can I, can I just be real? Uh, can I be real right here? Because, you know, you, you know, folk don't like the real. But can I just be real? The just is getting ready to walk in dumbfounded wealth. I'm not talking about billions. I'm talking about quadrillions. Why? Because there was a fight in the realms of the spirit over your finances. Because this is the last war Satan got to deal with the money. Because he doesn't want the gospel to go forth from the four corners of the earth's realm and God said that I'm going to put money in the hands of those who have trusted with nothing. I have trusted with nothing. You didn't have anything. You were on government food stamps uh, and you still was giving out of your lack. My God. I see wealth being transferred. I see buildings being transferred. I see inheritance being transferred. I see investments coming forth. God is opening up nations for many of you. God is opening up nations Some of you are going to the Asian region. I see some of you going to the Dominican Republic. I see India. God is here today and he's here to meet you. At the end of this fast, the kind of testimonies that are going to come forth. Hey, all you're going to have to do is say to God be the glory because it's going to be that kind. That's what I'm talking about. It's going to be that kind. You've been dealing with a this kind of demon, but God said they're getting ready to walk in a this kind of blessing. My God, I don't know if you can handle this right here. I don't know if you can handle this word. I'm trying to pull back, but I prophesy to those who have ears to hear. You're getting ready to walk into a this kind of break. 
bless you, my God. The last batch of ministers are getting ready to come forth to the forefront. It's going to be quite amazing. Hallelujah. I want you all to get ready. Get yourself ready. Remain ready. If God asks you to continue in your fasting, just be sensitive to his spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. We are praying for every one of you. We are praying for every one of you. We are praying for every one of you. Every one of you. Every one of you who send inboxes. Every one of you. Every one of you who send emails. Every one of you who watch the videos. Every one of you who share the videos. Every one of you who buy a CD. Everyone. We're not releasing a corporate prayer. We are praying individual prayers for every one of you. And we know that heaven will respond by fire. And I'm done by my God, by my God, 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 my God. Divine provinces. You will walk, you will walk, you will walk, you will walk, you will walk. Come on, I see you moving forward. I see you moving forward. Come on. I see you moving forward. I see you breaking through. I see you getting over the obstacle. Come on. I see it. I see it. I see you moving forward. I see you rejoicing in the Lord. I see you rejoicing. I see nothing can take your your joy in this season. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see that I see your breakthroughs. Come on, in your hand. I see you touching it. I see you driving it. I see you going. I see you doing. I see it. I know not those of you who have chimed in with us you shall see you shall see you shall see you shall see I want all of you to go back if you missed out on the prayer that was coming forth I want you to go to YouTube and listen to those videos. Every day was a different target. We will be back here on day 21, 12 a.m. We will be here to celebrate with all of you. I know those of you who have joined and who are with us today still on the fast. I give God the glory for your lives. Do come to www.godsroyalwomen.com. Org. My God, visit JohnKingHillMinistries.com. My husband has written 25 books on the glory of God. Listen, this message of the glory is getting ready to come forward. It's going to take the world by storm. Listen, people of God, we cannot just have the anointing in the end time. We need the revelation of God. Hallelujah. And that's what we are standing in for today where we lose ourselves. Hallelujah. God says uh, that if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Come on. That's what he said. He didn't say if if you lift up man. He said he said if I be lifted up. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Folk are lifting up man today. Yeah, we lifting up man on high. God said, lift me on high. I draw everyone. My God. Lift him up. He was already lifted up on the cross, but you lift him up. You will see the world. Come. My God. I, I, you know, that's for another day. We're going to come back in here. But God bless all of you today. I release you never from the presence of God. But from this ministration today, I want you to know, stay in expectation. Don't look at the devil. Forget the devil. Listen, you didn't came too far to even think about him. Come on. If he could have stopped you on day three, he would have. Come on. We gone over to the other side. God bless all of you. I love all of you. Those of you who this is your first time listening in to me. God bless you for taking your minutes of your day to listen to me, to stand in in prayer with us. Glory to God. God bless some of you. Let me say some of your names. God bless Sister Annette, Sister Kimberly, uh, Sister Cecilia, uh, Sister Betty. I see you. I see you. I see you. Brother Jeremiah, I see see you. God bless all of you for jumping in. Thank you so much. Uh, man of God, brother Diddy. Uh, uh, I see you. God bless all of you. Brother Israel, brother my God, sister Andrea. I see you. I just wanted to give you all a shout out. Glory to God. Please do. If you are interested in a boot camp, come on. We are raising giants today. Come on. Wherever you are called, wherever sphere of influence you are called to, you need spiritual warfare. Because that's the only way you're going to prevail in the spirit is to fight in the spirit. Come on. God bless Brother Avery. God bless you. Thank you all. Brother Ferd Fernandez. What? 
Brother Fernandez Henry, my God, I salute the grace upon you, man of God, for listening in today. God bless you. You are doing an amazing work in the kingdom of God. God bless you, woman of God, Sister Sharon. God bless all of you. You all are such a blessing to us. You will hear so much more for us. We're getting ready for television. We're getting ready for many things that's coming forth. We've been working very hard. Nevertheless, we never ever neglect the Facebook ministry that God has given to us. You all are precious and uh, we are treating it very precious as it, it's a jewel. You know, every every person's life, every person, just even if it's just two people that were here, I would pray as if I was praying for five million because you all are special to the Lord Jesus Christ. So I bless all of you. I bless you in your homes. I bless your children. I bless your hands, your finances. You will see, you will see, you will taste and see that God is good and he is good to you. Lady General, out until we meet again. God bless all of you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You going through this day with the victory. You going through this day with power. You going through this day under the anointing. You're not going through defeated. Wherever you are, woman. Wherever you are, man. Woman, if you're in the kitchen with the children, while you're fixing the breakfast, while you comb your hair, while you're putting your clothes on, man, stop right there and give him the glory. Give him the glory. Give God the glory. Because when track this morning, hey, you on the exercise equipment today, he's shaking you again, he's shaking you again, the Lord God Almighty, he's shaking you again, hey, hey, oh I know you can feel it, I know you can feel it. I know you can feel it. I know you can feel it. I know you can feel the glory of the Lord. I know. I know. I know the Lord is speaking to you this morning. Oh God, that man in the prison, that woman behind the prison door. You incarcerated, but the devil.